impose a quota. So the threat of quotas is moving the private sector. But again, the actions are within the private sector's hands. Smart companies are running ahead of that, so they're not, they, they can do it in their own way versus told what to do. Yes, yes, no, but, but thank you for sharing that with us because I think it's important that we know, you know, this isn't just a view in North America, but this is also the views globally around the world of, you know, what needs to happen and what needs to be done. Um, to, you know, to make that synergy and to make it work. So, so Beth, as a woman in a position of leadership, you must have had some, some challenges in your early, you know, career years. So what are some of those challenges that you faced? Um, you know, I faced many, and we all, we all have, we all do. Um, because of entering my work career as an athlete, I probably got over those early days a little bit easier than other women because I could very much compete with, you know, I could play the game very, you know, and that helped. I have to confess, it helped. Um, I was like the one they wanted to play on the golf scramble team because I got to hit off the forward tees and I could drive the ball as far as the men. So I was like the ringer on the team. Um, that helped. I know that- You were in demand. I w and I felt included. 